What's up, Goob Gang? It's your boy Goob back with another video today. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 Chosy Beyblades. So this is my personal opinion, is a combination of both the performance of the Beyblade and the look of the Beyblade. So even the best Chosy Beyblade might not be the number one Beyblade in my opinion because I'm also taking the looks of the Beyblade into account. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Starting out with number 10 on the list. Number 10 is Geist Fafnir. So Fafnir has been one of the most popular Beyblades ever since Drain Fafnir because it was so OP. Now this one unfortunately wasn't as OP as Drain Fafnir was simply because of the shape of the layer. This layer is not the greatest for stamina because it's not very circular as it has these huge edges on it. But I do really like the gimmick they gave it with these moving wings and it has a lot of rubber on it. As most of you know, each of these blue pieces are rubber. Honestly, this Beyblade just looks so cool. Look at the center of it with the claws and then that swirl in the middle. It just looks awesome. The driver was kind of interesting, kind of fun to use. Not super competitive, but still definitely fun. Now let's move on to number nine. Number nine on our list is Dead Hades. I love the design of this Beyblade. The details in this layer are insane. I love all the details they put on the metal piece of this layer. It looks so cool. And additionally, this Beyblade is actually pretty decent for her attack and it came with some pretty decent parts too and I love that it's purple there's barely any purple Beyblade so I really like that not a lot to say about this Beyblade it has a lot of metal on it um, and it kind of has a GT look to it because of this metal piece in the middle it also came with Zephyr Dash uh, honestly there's not a ton to say but I think this is definitely a very very cool Chosy Beyblade number eight on the list is Dead Phoenix similar to Dead Hades now, this Beyblade was a pretty cool Beyblade because it upgraded the armor on Revive Phoenix and honestly this Beyblade looks really really nice with the black and red combination. I think it really like portrays the dark Phoenix better and I love how it has a silver um, design in the middle. I'm glad that they gave it Atomic and this was definitely a cool Beyblade to be released because it really helps the Revive Phoenix to become even better. Here is number seven. This is Cho Z Valkyrie. This Beyblade has got to be one of my favorite looking Beyblades to be released yet. The colors of this Beyblade are amazing. With the translucent blue and the metal piece in the middle, I just love the way this Beyblade looks. And the burst stoppers are really, really cool. This Beyblade isn't one of the most competitive Beyblades, but I think that it has some decent potential for attack and I really think that it was cooler than winning Valkyrie in my opinion. Number six on our list is Hell Salamander. It's extremely competitive, very good for like stamina defense because it's left spin. You can light launch it against a lot of attack types except for Crash Ragnarok and it will be able to outspin and win every battle. It has a pretty cool look to it and there's never been a salamander before so it is kind of like a new spirit. I also like that they gave it that new driver that jumps around. It's pretty fun to use. Overall this Beyblade is just really good. Its performance pretty much speaks for itself. Number five on our list is Archer Hercules. The reason why this Beyblade isn't higher up on the list is because it's just so overused and competitive and I know that it's very very good and that's why it is in the number five spot and it has an extremely good design in the layer with these metal pieces on the outside that create really good outer weight and make it extremely good for stamina. But I think it might have been a little bit too overpowered. Luckily, it's starting to be used a little bit less now, but it still is a very, very good Beyblade and it has a good design. I really like the gimmick because it actually helps it with stamina. The look of this Beyblade, in my opinion, isn't amazing. There is that limited edition recolor that I might get because it's pretty cool. It's got like blue and green and it's more colorful. Number three on the list is Cho Z Achilles. Now this Beyblade, first off, looks amazing. I mean, come on. The sharp edges, the bulky design, the golden colors, it looks awesome it looks so clean and it was such a needed upgrade z achilles was terrible i'm gonna be honest z achilles had no place in competitive it was terrible this beyblade although still not really competitive was much much better and had burst stoppers 
Um, the biggest thing I didn't like about it, silver pieces aren't actually metal. So if you look closely at this, the shinier silver is actually plastic and this piece is metal. So if they had made the whole thing metal, that would have been better, but it's still such a cool Beyblade. And Dimension is so fun to use, and then it came with 0, zero which is a pretty darn good disc for attack because it's very heavy. Overall, just such a great Beyblade taking the number four spot. Number three has to be Crash Ragnarok. Okay, let me explain. There's gonna be a lot of people that aren't gonna like this pick because not everybody understands how good Crash Ragnarok actually is. Yes, it does not have the greatest teeth, but with dash drivers and even without dash drivers with the right type of launch and against the right type of Beyblade it is so good it can counter health salamander really easily it will burst health salamander I know from experience in a tournament when I was using health salamander and I got burst by a crash Ragnarok and I didn't know that it was so good at the time and I was like what and honestly this Beyblade looks really cool like I, I think the biggest reason why I didn't like it at first was because of the teeth but once you figure out that it's actually really good and the design is actually good, you'll realize that it's a really strong Beyblade. It has a lot of metal on it first off. These are big metal pieces and they're pretty sharp too at the edges. This thing is really good for uh, countering left spin defense or stamina types and it can burst Beyblades pretty easily. It has these metal wings that come out Obviously those wings don't do a lot. I just really like this Beyblade because it was so like slept on. Everybody hated it at first. Everybody thought it wasn't a big enough upgrade. And then somebody figured out that it was good at attack and especially countering Hell Salamander, which was really hard to counter at first. And then it became such a good Beyblade. Taking the number two spot is Revive Phoenix. Nobody knew how the outer armor would work, if it would work at all, if it would actually help. And it really does. And this Beyblade became really OP at the time and it had just such a cool design like the colors everything about it just totally resembles a Phoenix so well obviously the uh, dead Phoenix outer armor helps it to become perfect Phoenix and then it's actually OP and is very competitive even without the dead Phoenix armor it still is pretty darn good and it's one of my favorite Beyblades because of how well it really portrays the Phoenix. Number one is Cho Z Spriggan. Okay, so this is kind of an expected Beyblade to be number one. It's super OP, extremely competitive, really cool design, has burst stoppers, spins both directions, making it just absolutely insane. And I don't even know if Lord Spriggan's going to be able to to trump this thing because it's just so good. The only thing it's missing is rubber. It really doesn't have any rubber on it, um, which is kind of weird because they added rubber onto Spriggan Requiem. So I figured they were gonna put rubber on this too. They didn't, but it's still really good. Um, and I love the colors of it so much. The gold and red look so good together. It comes with zero wall and then Zeta dash. Zeta is not the greatest, but it's it's still good regardless. If you guys have your own top 10 list, make sure to comment it below and tell me which ones you agreed with, which ones you don't agree with. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.